Hey everybody, it's Chelsea here with the Women's Fishing Network, brought to you by Goes to Eleven Media. This is uh, one of my first open water trips here uh, of the season. I'm here on the Clearwater River, going after some brown trout and bull trout. So it's a beautiful day. It's just starting to rain a little bit, so. Hopefully the fish will like that. Today I'm gonna to be using Lucky Bug Lures. I am stacked with F-bombs. They are my favorite lure to use. I just uh, rigged up my rod with uh, this awesome one here. I'm quite excited. I got my new waders on from iWader, so it should be a wonderful day. Just crossing. So, I'm wearing a brown on the old lucky bug. Lucky bug, yeah. Twist that out, yeah. Good. Yeah, pull it hard, straight that way, yeah. Good girl. Nice little clear water brownie. Okay, you, you hit. Charles, first one to hit today. Also, hang on, let me see that thing. It's a big buck. Look at the what a beauty. The He's all scarred up, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Glad we came back to this hole. Well, that makes a wrap for this fishing trip here on the Clearwater River. I managed to land two awesome brown trout with my lucky bug f-bomb in the thunderbred pattern too which is my favorite it has a rattler in it it goes in the dark so i was super stoked to catch those two fish today my friend also caught a pretty wicked 
bull trout. So it was a successful day, but it was a hard day of fishing. We hiked up the river and back close to seven kilometers and it was super windy. So it was a hard day, but it was a good day. It was also my first day getting back into filming. So of course, sorry, Rick. I missed myself catching the fish on film. It's just it's just how it goes, you know? We went back to this hole, we had no luck in the first time, and we just threw a couple casts thinking we wouldn't, and I didn't have my camera set up. I just, it's like I need to have someone following me around all the time, just filming me. <laughs> so, a couple tricks. Also, my new waders from iWader, they were absolutely phenomenal. They were so comfortable, no leaks at all. They were just phenomenal. I was really, really impressed with them. So I can't wait to take them out again. I'm not used to having such awesome waders. So I got to get in the habit of staying in the water with the fish when I hook it. Um, I'm just usually in the habit of kind of bringing it up on shore because I don't have proper waders or because I'm just so excited and I don't want to lose the fish before I get a picture. But my casting, I just, not to brag or anything, but I just have to say my casting has improved immensely. It's just amazing how it, it actually goes where I want it to now. So I'm really stoked to get out there this season get on some awesome fish and have some cool adventures thank you for tuning in thank you rick at goes to 11 media thank you to all of our sponsors i'm just i'm so grateful we have some amazing gear that us girls have got so be sure to check it out on our stores fishingandoutdoors.ca or fishingandoutdoors.net the links to all of our awesome gear are there so be sure to check it out be sure to check out our website womensfishingnetwork.com we got some blogs up there some gear reviews so yeah lots of cool stuff coming your way this summer thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time